Hey guys, Vognair, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we're actually going to the Nations League final, and you're probably thinking, Theo, England are not in it, why have you travelled to Milan to go to this game? Well, first of all, the flights are about 18 quid return. Ryanair, not complaining, you know? <laughs> and second of all, I actually want to give the Nations League a chance. During international break, there isn't much football going on. And when Spain play France in a European final, and I know it's a new final and a lot of people doubt whether there's going to be a good atmosphere, well, we're going to come up with an answer for that today. Now, let's be real, San Siro, one of the most iconic stadiums in the world. It is going to get knocked down soon, so any opportunity I can get to go to that ground, I'm taking it. It's only a 50% capacity because Italy still have rules on uh, the whole restriction going on talking about this I'm at a hotel by the stadium and the France players are literally just there they're about to get on um, a coach to go to the ground I'm just waiting around to meet them hopefully we can get Pogba and the lads in the vlog <laughs> Italy were knocked out in the semi-finals in their own country by Spain clearly some revenge going on after the Euros and France what a game versus Belgium in the semi-finals people are writing off this tournament that was a cracker 3-2 Pogba, Benzema, Mbappe all smashing it. Theo Hernandez late winner. Even Lukaku, you know, he scored two, one VAR disallowed. It was mayhem. So if we have anything like that, we're in for a cracker. Let's check out the San Siro and let's go. Come on. that there goes the coach that was an absolute disaster class from me i can't lie i was running around the hotel trying to look for the entry for the players whilst they're all getting on the coach from a place that i just can't get to so i missed out on the players but we're gonna go get some grub go to the ground and hopefully we're good Yeah, think predictions. France 2-0. France 2-0? Can't stop. Michael, Can't stop. from Ireland, yeah, big up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a legend. Right, You're back in France. Yeah, back and in, in 90 minutes. 90 minutes. No complaints. Easy. 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 Lovely. Enjoy the game. These queues for the COVID passes are absolutely insane. I, I don't even know if I'm going to get there for the first minute. We're outside the San Siro. I've got myself a little Heineken beer on draft. So Mark's up for that. There's no fog down here today. So I'm going to have to take over the beer reviews. It's cold, it's draft, 7.0. Our ticket works. That's the most important thing. Oh, there we go. Right, now I have to give it to my mate. Go on. Skin, skin the other one, the other one. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the crowd. And here we are. Returning to the San Siro. Look at this view. I reckon it's going to penalties. Ooh. Spain are going to win. Spain are going to win. Spain. Yeah. Mate, I'll back France because I want to see Mbappe, Pogba run the show. I want to see it too. I uh, uh, it's, 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 don't think it's going to happen. You don't think it's going to happen? Uh, As a football fan, I just want to see good football. I want to see goals. At least three, four goals. France, three. Spain, two. Here we go. She fell. What even is these little countries around the big France there? Does it, is that England? I don't even know. England. Yeah, there is the okay. I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty cool. Cyprus, Norway, Poland, Czech Republic, it, uh, the Netherlands, Georgia, there's Germany. There's a Greece in there. There's an Italy, Switzerland, Montenegro. Where? Where's Montenegro? Where? Oh yeah, it is. Montenegro. Absolute teams. I don't really know what's going on here. Right, it's pretty sick. You've got loads of flags, loads of countries. Luis Figo's entered the field with the Nations League trophy from last year. Here comes the Spain national team. They won the World Cup once in the last three. Here come the French boys. They're at the hotel earlier. Strong lineup, as we know. There's the trophy. That French team, on its day, beats anybody in the world. I'll get the 
French national anthem, an 8 out of 10. Here's the Spanish lineup. As for the Greta from Chelsea, Marcus Alonso, ex Bolton. The Porte, I thought he was French. There's literally so much strength around that team. Oh no, here we go again. They've got a remote car to bring on the, on the match ball for kickoff. Look at this thing. What world are we in? So what we're seeing here is Italian fans taking over the ground that they're not even in. Basically saying that they're European champions. As an Englishman, I'm absolutely fuming. I'm fuming. It should have been us. If we had it in our own stadium. Yes. He's found Benzema. Taking it around the keeper. And the Spain fans are loving it because they know it's not a goal. Griezmann, a man who's... Uh, Playing in Spain, getting a few, uh, getting a few screeches there from the crowd. Oh goodness me! Gavi playing some good football here. The number nine for Spain. Again, a great turn. Porte always wanted to turn up today, he knew he would. He doesn't like the shots, he never picked him in the French team. And that's why he's in the Spanish team today. And that's our time here at the San Siro. I really hope the second half is just incredible because it needs to improve. Everyone's got the flashlight out here at San Siro. Hopefully all these lights will mean... Um, for a better second half, let's hope. We're here with the absolute legend himself, Aaron. How are we doing, mate? Good? We're good, we're good. You have brought terrible luck to Milan. There was two unbelievable semi-finals. Theo gets here and it's shit. Mate, it's been so good on telly. Why isn't it the same? I'm flying out here. It's not the same. That's, that's why, because you came. It probably is. <laughs> Full-time prediction what we say. We need this game to be a little bit more exciting, don't we? I'm going to go 1-0 Spain. Or yeah. Yath above the scorer. Ooh, it's been alright. He's shown glimpses of quality. Why not France? Why are you not backing him? You don't believe in the shots? Well, I think France... Struggled in the first game yeah. um, against Belgium, turned on in the second half. They haven't looked all that today. Spain, all the ball, all the possession. Yeah. I reckon they're going to nick it. Yeah, the French fans just behind the goal there making a little bit of noise to start the second half. We're underway again here, I swear. If it's another slow half, I'm going to be raging. Spain have nicked the ball from France here. Ah, oh, not good enough. And Mbappe. Benzema. Oh, it's just not going in. The ball just won't go in. Sixty-fourth minute. Spain nil, France nil. No one can score right now. I just don't know what's going on. Great work. Spain make it one nil. And every Spanish fan inside the San Siro. They are loving it. What a moment for Spanish football. And as the game was opening up, what a left footed finish from I think it was Oh, That is a switch on moment for the French players. No more time to mess about. They should be winning. Now, can France bounce back with their first attack? Benzema. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's so good. The first attack back. Gary Benzema. There's beer all over my head. Everyone's going mad. First attack back. This game's just turned like a switch and it's unbelievable. Spain won, France won. Karim Madrid, Real Madrid, France, it doesn't matter. On the opposite side of the ground. Yeah, they're loving it. 65th minute is one of the Spain. 66th minute is one all. 
I don't know what to believe anymore. Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. No! Oh, he skied it. It was nearly perfect. That would have been a beautiful little do. Mbappe. He's got to do better. Mbappé, Mbappé, Mbappé. <laughs> Kylian Mbappé makes it 2-1. Solid finish, Rods 2-1, simple as you like. That's four goals in six matches for Kylian Mbappe, the PSG international. Who knows where he'll be in January, maybe Newcastle United, for all that I know. VAR's checking the goal. The English referee says continue. Anthony Taylor gives nothing. Could it be Mbappe again? Oh. I think what we're seeing here is eventually quality seems to move when you've got the likes of Mbappe and Benzema on your team. 86th minute, Griezmann. Oh. Benzema, can you score again? He finds Mbappe saved. Right, they've announced five minutes at a time. What Spain need right now is an Iniesta moment. I don't think it's happening. One of the final chances for Spain here. The ball's in. Oh, even the keeper is saved. The goalie. The goalie even got a touch on it, oh my goodness. No! Oh! Tipping it! Yeah! And the referee! Rods have won the Nations really like going to games where my heart's not on the line the whole time, like watching England, where you can just enjoy it, you know? That second half was brilliant. Three goals, Oyazabal kick-started it, and then Benzema, the dip on his shot was just amazing, and Mbappe as well. The lovely little bit of skill and the, and the tight finish. Went off to celebrate with the French fans. Congratulations to France on the Nations League. But big up Spain as well because they played some really good football. In a few years, if they can get a striker who can consistently score goals week in, week out, they'll be up there for the World Cup and the Euros because actually on the ball, they're so good at playing together. Busquets is an absolute tinker man. You've got up and coming talents like Gavi too, who I thought was brilliant today at times. Please subscribe for more international Premier League and European content. And again, if we can get 15,000 likes on this video, that would massively be appreciated. I'll keep going out, flying out to places for you, for you guys, for content, if, if that's what you like. So smash it. See you in a bit. Bye.